I was born in the Southland. Some twenty odd years ago, I ran away for the first time. When I was only four years old, I'm a freeborn man. My home is on my back. I know every inch of highway, every foot of back road, every mile of railroad track. What's up everybody, Brandon Johnson here again and thanks for joining me. Today we're taking a look at the classic old time tune, Freeborn Man. And in this lesson I wanted to cover the three distinct lead sections, the first intro lead pass, the second intro lead pass, and the full solo, Tony Rice style. Now I've had several requests over the years to do a lesson on this and I'm really excited because this is the first really full length solo lesson that I've ever done. But this is really a study of Tony Rice's soloing style. And in this lesson, we're gonna take a, you know, a deep dive into kind of his signature pentatonic sound. And we're also gonna take a look at kind of a classic Tony Rice up the neck section, where he actually uses some notes out of the minor scale and maybe even some bebop chromatic intervals in there. Because Tony Rice was a huge fan of jazz and he integrated a lot of that into his solo. We're also gonna take a look at the chords and the rhythm for this song so you can play backup if you're playing with other pickers. So I hope you enjoy this one. Let's check it out. Let's check out Freeborn Man now. So we're looking here at what I consider to be the first of two sort of intro passes that Tony Rice likes to play in between the, the vocal intro section. So basically what we're doing here is we're playing a, you know, even though we're looking at a tab sheet here that's in 4-4 time, you know, really he's sort of playing this arrhythmically. He's sort of playing it not in time. It's sort of meant to be a lead-in into the actual rhythmic content of the song itself. So we're starting out here with really just a, a classic pentatonic run, uh, starting up on the third fret high E on an upstroke, and then landing on that sixth fret high E to third fret high E. Now we're gonna descend here, we're gonna descend across this G pentatonic scale. So right after that, we're gonna go sixth fret B, third fret B, we're going to keep descending, except we're going to introduce a chromatic note here. So we're going to play that 6th fret G to 5th fret G to 3rd fret G. So we're still kind of sticking to that, that pentatonic scale shape here. And we're going to keep descending down that pentatonic scale with that 5th fret D to 3rd fret D. And then we're going to get into more chromatic notes here. 5th fret A, 4th fret A, to 3rd fret A. And then with our little finger, we're going to play 6th fret low E, 3rd fret low E, and then back to 6th fret low E. up there at the end of measure number one on an upstroke on that third fret A. And then going into measure number two, we're going to play a hammer on here, still holding this third fret A. We're going to hammer on from the fourth fret A to the fifth fret A and land on an upstroke on that fifth fret D. And 
from there, you'll see fifth fret G on an upstroke. So we're gonna roll off here and hit that fifth fret G. So you'll see there's a little bit of space there. That fifth fret D is on an eighth note. That fifth fret G is on an eighth note. And you'll see a slide up from third fret G to fourth fret G. And then we're gonna land on that open G right after that. Okay, and then from there you'll see a pull off, third fret D to open, to an open G. And then a hammer on, third fret G to fourth fret G. Now we're going to catch that third fret high E on an upstroke. Now when we look at measure number three here, measure number three, really what Tony's doing is he's just kind of strumming out a G major chord. So he's playing this, this kind of a G major shape, and he's starting out on the open G, doing some cross picking here. We're going to that third fret low E, and then open G again, and then third fret low E again. So we're just holding our G major chord here and doing some cross picking. Then you'll see open D, open G, open B, and then he ends right there at the end with that third fret high E. And that open B is kind of like a, a dotted quarter note, so you can kind of let that ring out a little bit longer. Okay, let's play this intro lick now, all the way through to the metronome. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. Okay, we're looking at Freeborn Man now, this, the kind of the second solo pass of the intro. So Tony plays kind of the first section in the intro, and then he plays another really, really cool kind of solo pass in the intro on, on the second time before the verse actually starts. So this one uses a, a really cool string bend here, and we're gonna start out with a pickup, open D to open G. And then there's a slight rest, and then you see a string bend on that third fret B. So I like to do kind of just like a half step string bend there. And then we're gonna land on an upstroke on that first fret high E. Then you'll see a pull off, second fret B to open, third fret G, and then first fret B. This is kind of a classic Tony Rice interval here. And then right after that, we have third fret G to fourth fret G on a slide up. Then you'll see a pull off from the third fret D to open. And we're gonna land on that open G, the beginning of measure number two. And then from there we have a slide up, 3rd fret D to 5th fret D. And then we're just going to hit the open G right after that slide up. And 
then we're going to play 5th fret D, roll off to 5th fret G, and then 5th fret D again. Okay, and right after that 5th fret D, we have a slide up, 3rd fret G to 4th fret G again, to open. And then a pull off, 3rd fret D to open landing on the open G. Okay, and then from there, we'll kind of get back into kind of the classic G run. First fret A, slide up to two. And then landing on that D on an upstroke. Looking at measure number three, you'll notice measure number three is identical to the ending of pass number one, where we're just kind of cross-picking out this G chord here. And it's this G chord. So we're going to play an upstroke on the open G. It's on an eighth note. And then we're going to cross-pick out this G chord a little bit. We're going to play third fret low E, open G, third fret low E. And then we're just going to play the open D open G, open B, and then landing on that third fret high E. Let's play the intro pass number two now, all the way through to the metronome. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. 